Hi guys, just checking in. Happy Monday. If you missed yesterday's worship service that's still available online, you'll hear the message from Pastor Mark Reege, our church's moderator. This Sunday, Pastor Len Smith will be back to bring us the message. Whereas there hasn't been much going on the last couple of weeks, this week is chock full of activity. This Wednesday, our paper and hygiene products pantry is open again from 6 to 7 p.m. Let's drive up only at door C, and a bunch of our usual volunteers are out of town this week, so they need extra hands. If you can be of some assistance, please let us know and show up at 5.30 on Wednesday night. You can either be praying inside for the prayer requests that come in through the line or helping to pass out bags. Thursday night, your leadership team is meeting to discuss the important business of the church as well as to lift up and support one another, so please be in prayer for them during that time. And for me, it's the first meeting I'm going to run. Friday night is our next hobby night. Just bring your projects, your own drink, and a snack to share, and come out for some idea sharing, conversation. Just a good time. It has been brought to my attention that some of you might be wondering why the pastors don't pray very specifically on Sunday morning for the needs in our congregation. I wanted to let you know that this is due to a couple reasons. For one, having rotating pastors in for pulpit fill, it's a little bit difficult for those pastors to keep up with exactly what is happening in our congregation. Unless they're told ahead of time or right before the service, they wouldn't know to include them. The other problem we face is that now that our church live streams our Sunday morning services, privacy and security are something that we want to make sure we respect. Not everybody who has requested prayer wants all of their personal information or the things that they're going through put out over the internet. If you've been made aware of a need in our congregation, if you have shared something with our prayer chain and you don't hear it prayed for on Sunday morning, that does not mean we are not praying. In fact, we have many avenues for prayer here at Shepherd's Heart. On the back of every bulletin slip that is turned in on Sunday morning, there is an entire section for how we can pray for you. These prayer requests are sent directly to our deacons, as well as our team ministry pastor, Len Smith. They are definitely praying for your needs. And if you check the small box at the bottom of that slip, this prayer request will also go out on our public prayer chain. And yes, if you can't join us in person and you leave a Facebook comment or a YouTube comment or you email us your prayer request, we do get those and we do pray for you. Anytime a need is shared through our prayer chain, that many more people both in and outside of our congregation are also praying for you. Every update that comes through, every new need goes out on that prayer chain. In addition to all of that, if we know of a need in our community, or if we have been praying with you, it's likely that it makes it to our Sunday night prayer meeting. Six to ten individuals will be praying for the needs of the congregation every Sunday night. And you are always invited to join us for that from 6 to 6.30. We pray for the requests of the congregation, and we also pray for our leadership, for our church, for God's work to be present and moving through every individual and the church. And that doesn't even include the prayers that happen during our Sunday school meets, our other class times, our fellowship events, small groups, or individually one-on-one -on -one with people you know and love. We are praying for you. As our search continues for a new pastor for the congregation, this kind of thing may be more incorporated into the worship services in the future. But I just wanted you to know that you are loved, you are heard, and we are here for you. Don't forget about our mission of the month for the month of February. That's Retta. And if you come to church this Sunday or watch on the live stream, you'll hear a very special presentation about that ministry. You can always donate via your giving or by mailing checks to the church. And of course, we ask you to continue on in your prayers for that mission. Our Bible memory verse this week comes from Luke 12, verse 34. And it says, For where your treasure is there your heart will be also. And that's really all I have for this week. I hope you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one.